Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. It's a terrific look at Snappy Driver Uninstaller. This is geared for techs. It's something if you want to take pretty much every, every driver known to mankind on the road with you. If you're looking to just update your drivers, you're probably in the wrong place. Uh, we'll put a link down below to, say, Driver Booster. You can grab that. And that's a much simpler program for the end user. But my geeks and techs, I don't have to tell you, it's a portable utility. You will need something that opens seven zip files, so seven zip would be good. Extract it. Now you have your folder. Run the 32 or 64 bit. Accept. And you want to come here, and the first thing you will need is the indexes. However, you can start downloading everything right away. But let's just get this out of the way. It's going to use torrent, so if you line your mouse over here, it seems like nothing's downloading right away, but you'll see that it's going to connect. Once the torrents get connected, it'll jam right through. So we'll get the index, and we'll show you a little bit about how it works, and we'll show you the expert mode now. With expert mode, it allows you to get it logs, take a snapshot so that you could use the driver packs on, say, a job site where you have 10 exact same computers and get all the drivers on there. Where this excels is, for any tech that's been on the road, and you have those little yellow exclamation points to an older piece of hardware that you don't recognize. As you know, you can spend hours on the internet trying to get the proper drivers. And saving one driver here, one driver there is probably rarely going to help you. But what if you could have just about every driver known to mankind with you on a thumb drive? That's snappy driver. So as you can see, we can come here and look at the packs. And you know, most geeks will recognize Bluetooth drivers, card readers, a different LAN, real tech, Intel monitors, sound cards. You can see everything from creative to C media, real tech again, most common. Uh, the touchpad drivers, video, AMD, Intel, webcam drivers, wireless drivers. So basically, what you want to do is just pick something and download. We'll run through one of them that's small here just to show you. We'll take the uh, real tech LAN drivers, only five megs. We'll click OK. And again, it looks like nothing's happening, but give those torrents a second to kick in. While that downloads, once you have it, you, if you download everything, you take it on your thumb drive or on a DVD, you can actually come down here into this expert mode and you want to get any driver packs that are not installed and you want to get anything that's newer. So you can actually just start this up from your computer and just update it. You've always got the latest drivers with you. The first run is going to take a little bit, but even with the speed, as you can see, the torrents go at. I think you can probably get most of this stuff downloaded in, uh, within a half an hour or less. So now that we've uh, come in here and we've gotten the pack that I just told you about, we will go to the folder that we're in and go to drivers. And there is your Realtek LAN drivers for XP. And there you go. Everything you need, 64-bit. If you recognize whether it's a Realtek 8150, 5719, you can figure out exactly what card it is, what you need, and your driver sitting right there. Imagine the time you would save on the road, not having to screw around, trying to go to one of those software download sites that offer drivers that are, you know, pretty questionable. So there you go. So all you want to do is hit check all, hit OK. Once that's done with, just come back here, grab this folder, and put it on your thumb drive every once in a while. Slap it in your computer, update it. You've always got it with you. Tough to beat, but again, if you're just looking to update your drivers, there's much more user-friendly driver updaters, for example, Driver Booster. So what I'll do is I'll put a link to Snappy Driver as well as Driver Booster in case you're just looking to update your drivers on a personal level and not take every driver in the world with you. You could, however, although I'm, I'm not a big, big fan, in the program, you could actually come in here once you have this stuff done and everything's downloaded, which again is very time consuming, is you can click this install button. So if you knew what you had on your computer, again, this is why it's a little more for geeks and taxes. You really need to know what it is you're installing. So you can do it, but I recommend you shoot for driver booster. So once again, snappy driver, link in the description, driver booster, link in the description if that's what you need. I think that pretty much covers everything about the program that you might need to know. And we thank you so much for watching. Take a second and subscribe. That'd be cool. It's right down there. 
and uh, we'll see you next time.